Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am Marcy and I have some Scentsy oils to share with you today. I have diffused all of these oils, so I'm going to give um, a scent review and a diffusing review. There are five here. These were available in the uh, Fall Winter 2022 catalog. However, um, two of these have returned for the Spring Summer 2023 catalog and you never know what might return uh, again so I just wanted to get this out here there's definitely some favorites here and um, I'm excited to share so let's start with something juicy and fresh and ready for our new season this is available in the um, spring summer 2023 catalog and this is watermelon red berries The scent description is watermelon and sugared raspberry mellowed by a hint of cucumber. The watermelon is out front and it is not one of those candied watermelon smells. I get that there might be a little bit more of a melange of berries with the watermelon, but overall, the other scent notes that are coming alongside the watermelon are just offering a juicy, sweet freshness. I don't really grab cucumber out of this one, but again, there's, there's a, a freshness uh, that makes the watermelon a little bit more authentic. And it is a sweet watermelon, but again, not candy-like. So I have diffused this, and I was pretty happy with the performance. On this one, I did have to use a few more drops um, to get the uh, intensity that I was looking for. Overall, I would say that this is a medium, maybe medium light performer, but I could pick it up just fine. And I, I would definitely buy this one again. Very nice. Uh, the next one I'll review is Awesome Apple. And this is available in the 2023 catalog. And the scent notes are Golden Honey Crisp Apples sprinkled with sugar cane and fresh ground cinnamon. So sniffing right from the bottle, I do get a very nice apple. It's a red apple. There's some sugars. I, I, I agree with like the sugar cane and uh, cinnamon. It smells a little bit like a bakery uh, cinnamon here. Overall, it's not super sweet and I wouldn't say this is like obviously bakery or anything. Yes, they all are pretty well blended. The apple, the sugar cane, the cinnamon, not coming off super bakery, but um, when I diffused this, I got quite a bit more of the cinnamon and it uh, diffused a bit more like a red hot cinnamon to my nose. So I diffuse in my bedroom specifically right now and this is a not a terrific bedtime sleepy time scent for me. Um, so I'm going to have to play around with it. I think it would be fantastic out anywhere else in your home. But the cinnamon note being that it came out as it did during diffusing, um, I found it, I found it like invigorating uh, when I didn't want to feel that way <laughs> as I'm trying to go to sleep. So I'm going to play around with this. I would like a little bit more apple to shine through. So I'm going to um, try some mixing with this one because again, I'm diffusing in my bedroom and I want to meet that need as I'm going to sleep. Uh, but anyways, uh, this is very nice. 
I was surprised. Some other reviewers, um, to their nose, this came out very, very sweet, very, very bakery. So I just wanted to share my point of view and my experience with it. Um, it's definitely not unpleasant. It's just not as sweet and bakery as I was anticipating, uh, but very nice. I just got to find the right way to dif diffuse this for any bedroom during nighttime. <laughs> okay, next one. Jasmine and Birchwood. I'm a woodsy category gal. This one, the scent notes really, really spoke to me. Um, scent notes for this are Sweet Jasmine blooms harmoniously among Birchwood and Sandalwood. So we have Sweet Jasmine, Birchwood, and Sandalwood. And, and it sounds lovely. However, I'll tell you, uh, this will not be a repurchase for me. I don't like it. Uh, so on sniff right from the bottle, and again, things are very concentrated here, but uh, it's all woods, and it's not a pleasant wood to my nose. This is almost a... Uh, astringent, sappy, maybe, um, oh, it's just so concentrated. It almost smells, oh, like crisp white woods instead of, um, mellow, sensual, warm woods. Yeah, that's probably what I would say is like crisp, sappy, very concentrated birch wood uh, and no jasmine. And then on diffusing, the sweet jasmine did show up a little bit better. Uh, however, it just never really became harmonious <laughs> for me. Uh, I definitely want to play around with this. I think maybe there's some mixing potential for this one. Maybe um, adding a woody element to a fruit, something like that I could be enjoying. Um, but uh, personally, not a repurchase. And I did hear where other reviewers were tagging this as a masculine scent. Uh, I don't get specifically masculine notes at all here. Definitely the woodsy category and um, just not a pleasant woods for me. I, I really wish the jasmine came through and that it was sweet, sensual jasmine. I also wish that the sandalwood came through, which is a sensual, warm, smoothing uh, wood. Really, I, um, I got a very small portion of jasmine mixed with a very crispy um, birch wood. Um, I don't want to say rotten or rotting. That is so wrong, but it's, it's so astringent to my nose. Oh, goodness. Okay, we're going to end on two good notes now. Uh, these next two are no longer available, uh, but will most certainly be repurchases for me. We have Sweet Eucalyptus Lime. All right, the notes here are zesty grapefruit and lime deliver a playful kick to Sweet Eucalyptus. I get the grapefruit, I get the sweet lime. Surrounded by a little bit of like greens. Doesn't come off as eucalyptus specifically. Yes, um, does not bring that uh, medicinal, herbaceous, typical eucalyptus that you would expect. Zesty, sweet grapefruit and sweet lime. 
and it diffused the same. Um, again, just very pleasant, sweet citrus and lime together with some surrounding greens. Um, nothing is herbaceous or eucalyptus-like here. So on diffusing this, it, it was pretty light, which surprised me. That really surprised me. Um, so I had to come through with more drops and then even more drops. So it's a lighter performer in the diffuser to my nose, uh, but it'll be a, a repurchase. I don't mind using some more um, scent out of the bottle to um, enjoy this fragrance. It's really nice. And the last one we'll talk about is Toasted Vanilla Cranberry. Okay, and the scent description is Sweet Cranberry and Plum Toasted with Warm Vanilla. This is my hands down favorite of the bunch. I can't stop returning to this one. Um, it gives me a lot of cozy vibes at nighttime. It is perfectly um, cranberry and toasted warm vanilla. There is a toasty note in here that is super comforting. Slightly bakery, but not overly so. And the cranberry is, to me, not at all winter specific. This is just a really nice red fruit cranberry with a toasty, cozy vanilla. It's so, so smooth, super cozy. Um, that will absolutely be a repurchase. I hope this one comes back because I'm buying it on blast. So that is the oils. Um, that I wanted to review with you today. I'm going to make another video of some other uh, smaller, five, the 0.5 mLs, excuse me, 5 mLs that I purchased um, and received in a diffuser warmer bundle that I bought. So I'll make another video of those, just kind of random mix of no longer available scents. So if you like this video, uh, look for my other one that I'm about to put up. Thank you guys, have a great day, bye.